Hi, hello everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Discovery Vlog with me, Glory. I'm glad you guys keep watching and keep coming back every week and leaving comments. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, today, I wanted to speak from the heart. Um, as most of you would know, or maybe people don't know, I actually have no experience in media. Go figure, right? Um, I have no experience. In fact, I studied, I studied geography in school. Really, by profession, I am an environmental planner and I specialize in climate change. So what am I doing in media? Um, it was, basically, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be in front of the camera, entertaining or talking, um, but I, something I didn't have any experience in, but it was something I really, really wanted to do. I find that there are a lot of people who, they don't have experience in particular things, but they find themselves drawn to do those things. So how do you transition? Or how do you, how do you take that leap? How do you believe in yourself enough to go for something that ordinarily you wouldn't go for because of your background? So today's vlog topic is how to believe in yourself. Um, I've talked about this before, like before I started the Inspire series, I felt like I needed to lose weight because let's be honest, right? Most of the people that you see in front of the camera are a tad bit slimmer, you know, look, a bit, maybe, you know, a bit different from the way I look. And that's fine, you know, everybody's entitled to look, you know, how they look. But I felt intimidated, and I felt that, you know, who would even take me seriously? Excuse me, there are people that are hosting a million shows. Why do you think we will now come and watch your show? And then my own show is not even online, meaning you have to use data to watch it. Ah, you are a joker. So I will spend money to watch your show, you are not even serious. Do you understand? Like, so, for me, it was kind of like, you know, how, what, what is pushing you to do these things and why do you think anybody's going to take you seriously? But then I had to believe in myself, which is, which is the first step. And I think having that belief was not being afraid. Not being afraid of what people would say, what people would think, whether people were going to watch. It was something I wanted to do. So I just went and I did it. Like, I always tell people, just Nike it, man. Just do it. If you, my, my own was like, ah. Worst case scenario, only my dad and my mom will watch it and I'll go back to work the next day. Fine, some people, some people have to go all in for some certain things. And I would encourage you to do that. Like, just don't be afraid. Don't wonder what somebody else is going to think. Just do it. Second thing I would say is, you know, don't wait for this. Nobody's going to come and whisper to you and say, thou must start your own show. That, it's not going to happen. You have to take baby steps. Just you know, just say, okay, I want to do this. How am I going to achieve it? Nobody, you know, very rarely does somebody else come to validate you first. You have to believe you are enough for these things. So I believe that even though I was different from what I would typically see in front of the camera, that that didn't mean that my own, my own dreams should be cut short. So that's step two. Don't wait for external validation. Validate yourself. Go for it. Um, my step three was surround yourself with good people, with the right people. I say this to anybody that wants to listen. She's even here, Seth. Wana. Hey, a friendship ordained by the gods. Do you understand? I went, Wana. No, but hang on, no. I'm not saying that you should now go purposefully and start looking for people. That is different. Do you understand? But surround yourself with people with the right skills. So, for example, Wana. Wana is somebody that I can. She's not a dream stealer and she's not a dream killer. You can tell her something and she'll help you fashion it out. Um, but I think what my point here is, find people that can help you hone into your skill. Find people that would encourage you. Find people that would, you know, help you research and say, oh, you know, okay, you're thinking about writing that book, but I saw this book that is like this, you should read it. You know, people that would encourage you and, you know, that would, that would help you refine your dream and support you, um, you know, in fulfilling it. And then this kind of ties into the first point which is don't, you know, I said don't be afraid, but then you will make mistakes. It's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. If you make a mistake, doesn't mean that, you know, you should stop believing yourself or you should start saying that, oh, maybe I wasn't cut out to do this and all of that. If I tell you the amount of mistakes, I made a lot, a lot of mistakes, but really that's the only way to learn. So don't, you know, so going back to the first point and now the fourth point, like, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Appreciate your mistakes. Even appreciate your critics because they are the ones that are, you know, sometimes there's a lot of truth in criticism, but just take the, take the good with the bad and refine it as you go on. 
So I think my encouragement today is, it's very simple. Are you, you know, is there something you want to do with your life? Do you feel afraid? Do you, do you have a lot of self-doubt? Like, you know, maybe you're not enough, or maybe you don't have the right experience, or you don't have the right background, or you don't know the right people. Just go for it. But then, are you someone out there who's also going for it, and you have other tips to share? Please leave a comment in our, um, in the comment section, or you can email me at glory at inspiredbyglory.com. Also make sure you check out our blog, inspiredbyglory.com, which has a lot of helpful articles on relationships, business and career. Um, and yes, how can I forget this? Subscribe to our YouTube page, baby. Please, it's necessary. You get it. All right, guys. Um, Till next time, it's me, Glory, on the Discovery Blog. Bye.